Capital budgeting is a process of evaluating investment and huge expenses in order to obtain the best return of the investment. Selecting profitability project means if there are 10 projects are there, you have to select two or three which are profitable, which gives you more profit. Capital investment is a huge. If you are taking wrong decision, your company directly goes down. Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facility College, the temple of excellence. And now we are in the session one of your topic called capital budgeting. Almost it is the last topic in this session. Now, your capital budgeting, we done with all kind of topic like your introduction part, your time value of money, your cost of capital, capital structure, dividend decision and the final topic will be called as capital budgeting. Today we will go with only the theory topics and in the next session we will go with all the practical things. Now in this the agenda will be very simple your concept as well as meaning. So what is capital budgeting? So before we go for the definition and all I will tell you simple meaning. What is a capital budgeting means? I'll give you a simple example. You have a mobile. You have mobile. So, one more mobile. There are two. Now, you have mobile now. Just assume that there is an old mobile. Old one. There is a new one. What is capital budgeting? You will understand better if you understand this example. Now, you have two mobiles here. One will be old, one will be new. Now, in this, the old mobile, it got corrupted. Now, your old mobile, it is not working. It is out of order. And new mobile, it is there in the shop. It will cost you around 10,000. And your old mobile, you have to get it repaired. The cost is 6000 for repair. Hope you are clear. You are clear with the example. The question is, there are two mobiles are there. One mobile at home, one mobile at shop. Now, at your home, you have a mobile. It is not working. It is out of order. If you give it for repair, it will cost you 6000 and RS, I don't want to get it repaired. I'll go with the new mobile. It will cost you 10,000. Now, the question is, you have given 6,000 for this. And what is the life of the mobile? You have given 10,000 for this. What is the life of the mobile? The new mobile, they tell that you will get five years life. The old mobile, they tell that you will get two years of life. Now, you only decide, should I go for old? Should I go for new? Hope you got what is capital budgeting. Now, so understanding, taking decision, whether should I go for this? Whether should I go for this? That is called capital budgeting. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, if I go for old mobile by paying 6,000, after two years, I have to go spend another 10,000, it will be 16,000. Now, if you go for this mobile, in 10,000, I can use it for five years. These are the calculation happens in capital budgeting. Should I use the existing machine? Or should, I, should I go for the new machine? That is a project, that is a plan. You should take decision after doing your capital budgeting. To do all this, we have many techniques are there. What are those techniques? I'll explain you almost at the end of this session. Clear? To do all this calculation, we have some techniques. Which are those techniques? I'll tell you at the end of this session. And your whole syllabus are based on those techniques only. Now. Capital budgeting is a process of evaluating investment and huge expenses 
in order to obtain the best return of the investment. Whatever investment you made from that returns must be more. Now, an organization is often faced with the challenges of selecting between two project investment, either buy versus replace decision. Ideally, an organization would like to invest in all profitable project, but due to the limitation on the availability of capital, an organization has to choose between different project of investment. See, there are two projects are there. You have to select, should I go for this? Should I go for this? And one more, before you purchase four-wheeler, what you will do? Should I go for second hand or should I go for new car? All this, what you will do? If I go for second hand, if it comes for repair, I have to pay. If I go for new one, one year, it is a free service. All this, you'll keep it in mind. If I go for new mobile, the cost will be high. I have to pay interest. If I go for old car, the cost will be less. Interest will, not, will be less only. All this, you have to keep it in mind while selecting your project, while selecting your decision. Now, what are the objectives of capital budgeting? There are three objectives are there. First one, selecting profitability project, capital expenditure control, finding the right source for fund. Selecting profitability project means if there are 10 projects are there, you have to select two or three which are profitable, which gives you more profit than capital expenditure control. What will be the expenditure for that project? Every project you have to analyze, which is a less expenditure, less cost, you have to go for that. Then finding the right source for fund. Once you selected your project, from where you can invest, the sources you have to identify. But remember, I told you select the least price, but it not be the worst one. Even though it is the least price, the returns must be better. Even though the rate is moderate, it will give you more return, then don't go for the least price, go for the moderate for huge return. Now, these are the objectives of capital budgeting. Now, what are the process we have? There are almost five processes are there. The first one, identifying investment opportunities. Then evaluation of all investment proposals. Evaluation means what? Detail checking. Detail checking. Detail checking. Now, choosing the most profitability investment. There are four or five options are there, which gives you more profit, go for that. Capital budgeting and apportionment. After that, you have to do apportionment in the capital budgeting. Last one, performance review. Once you selected, you evaluated, you invested, then you have to go for review, whether your decision is good or bad. Now, techniques of capital budgeting. Now, as I told you, at the end of the session, I'll tell you what are the techniques you have in the capital budgeting. There are total almost five techniques we can call it as. One will be pay back period. This we call it as NPV. This we call it as ARR. This we call it as IRR and this we call it as profitability index. In your exam, which one you have to concentrate? You have to concentrate on payback, net present value, ERR, and profitability index. IRR, they will ask you, but the chances are probably always less. So we'll go with IRR also at the end. Before that, we'll complete these four. Now, We'll understand what is payback period. Very simple. Your investment is 1 lakh. So, just I'll give you an example. You invested 1 lakh and you purchased an auto. Your investment is how much? 1 lakh. What you purchased? Auto. Now, in the auto, first year, what is your income? 
your first year income is 30,000. Second year, your income is 25. Third year, your income is 35. Fourth year, your income is 10,000. And fifth year, your income is 40,000. These are the income generated from your auto. These are the income. So how to find out payback period? Payback period means your investment is 1 lakh. Yes. Now, 30,000 in the first year, we go for cumulative. What is cumulative? First year, your income is 30. Second year income, 30 plus 25. Your total income, 55. Total income, 70. 90,000, sorry. Then, if you add 10,000, it will be 1 lakh. Plus 40, 1 lakh 40. Your complete problem I am doing here itself, this much only your capital budgeting. But we have discount factors that I will explain you while doing the original problem. Now, we have to find out payback period. How to find out payback period? Now, in this, Your investment is 1 lakh. When did you get back your investment? Again, I'll repeat. Your investment is how much? 1 lakh. When did you get back your investment? First year, it is 30. Second, 55. Third, 90. Fourth year, yes. In the fourth year, you got your investment. What is the payback period? 4 years. Hope you are clear. What is the payback period? At the end of fourth year, you got back your one lakh. That is only payback period. Hope it is easy. Now, after payback will come for net present value. Net present value. What is the net present value here? Now, net present value, I can give you simple example. So, you have one lakh forty thousand. Your final income. What is the total cumulative income? 1,40,000 divided by divided by so not divided minus actually minus what is your investment? 1 lakh. Your answer is 40,000. So you got answer of 40,000. This is called N P V net present value. Hope you are clear. Yes. ARR I'll come later while doing problem. IRR also I'll come later while doing problem. Now we'll go for PI. What is PI? Easiest one. Whatever you have did minus here will take the same value 140,000 divided by 1 lakh. Your answer is 1.4. This is called as profitability index. Hope you are clear. We'll go with original problem. There is no changes what I did today, but only the tax portion will come and your depreciation portion will come. And finally, we have one thing, your discount factor. Other than these three, we have covered almost everything. Now, this is all about your today's session. I'll go back to all the slides. Please take a screenshot. So capital budgeting, meaning your objectives, process, techniques, and we have conclusion. What is the conclusion we have? Capital budgeting is a predominant function of management. Right decision taken can lead a business to the great heights. However, a single wrong decision can inch the business closer to shutdown. Your wrong decision because capital investment is a huge. If you are taking wrong decision, your company directly goes down. So the number of funds involved and the return tenure of these projects. These are all your capital budgeting.
Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Next session will go with complete problems and will complete within four sessions for this. Thank you.